It is James Hedge on behalf of the National Peanut Festival and all the Peanut Festival family and, and the, all the, the family, I'm going to say family, it's not just those that are on the board and the volunteers, it's, it's the community as a whole, it is our police force, our fire, our fire department, everybody that makes this possible uh, is here to dedicate a portion of our facility out here in honor of a great man that done so much for the festival and had his heart out here in so many things. And uh, we have his family here with us today, uh, and that is Mark Foster, Crystal, his wife, and his son Caleb is here, his, his father, and this is his mother, or his stepmother, I can put it right, correct, all right? And they're here with us today. Also, one of his best, one of his best buddies is here with me also, is Lee Nelms, and uh, we're here today to honor him and remember him for eternity here at the Cat Festival, for being such a great friend and helping us Every year in our traffic, I mean, everybody just uh, thought the most of, of Mark and will continue to thank the most of Mark. So, this time we're going to have an unveiling. Um, and we're going to have this post, this uh, sign that says it all. Lee's going to hit me with it. Foster's Parking. Woo! <laughs> and we all have different memories of him, but I tell you, I, I remember the last time I seen him was out here helping uh, right before the day we was doing Salvation Army pickup of the food, and he was out here helping traffic was, was, was heavy, and, and Greg called him, and, and Mark was quick to respond and help us with the traffic. And, that's just the kind of person he was. We'll forever remember Mark in our hearts and our memories forever. I, I met Mark before he joined the department when he was still working for Medford. And even then, he was one of the most unselfish people I've ever met in my life. If you needed something and he was available, he was there. He didn't ask questions. He didn't want to know why. He was there to help you. And, uh... The only thing he put above that was his family. If he had something going on with his family, you might have trouble getting up with him because he was going to be there. And if he wasn't there and you needed him, he was there for you. And he did, there's so many things he did for this community that there's no way we could ever recognize him for what he actually deserves. And I just, I'm glad you guys are here. This was the, the least that we could do. I miss him, and uh, I'm pretty sure everybody else does too. This is Lieutenant Todd, Todd David. He was Mark's supervisor. I'll tell you, it's, you know, I've heard people expressing their feelings about Mark. Uh, our relationship went beyond that as a supervisor and a boy. Mark was this kind of guy. Once you got to know him, he couldn't help him like Just like you know, my people have said, anything in the world he could do for you, he would. I think twice about it. I told his dad one time, Mark had gotten uh, hit by a vehicle back when he was on the motor, and I talked to his dad up here at the hospital that evening. I said, you know, if the chief could find me 10 people like Mark Foster, my world would be an almost perfect place. Just a, a phenomenal guy. 
guy to work with, heck of a friend, incredible father, incredible husband. I mean, he was just the epitome. Of, but the young man coming up nowadays needs a role model. They'd be hard pressed to find a better one than Mark Foster. It was a privilege to work with him and be his friend. Thank you very much for attending this afternoon, and uh, this something we'll remember from now on. Thank you for coming. Thank you.